here's where we need to go. Navigate back to this area. Change the database table prefix. Make a backup of your database. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wp-config.php file must be writable. If it's green, it's yes. Uh, the database user uh, must have alter rights. Yes, you need both of those to green. If it's not, you need to change your file permissions. I... Uh, that's outside the scope of this. Well, let's do it really quick. Find that HTML, uh, public underscore HTML. Go to your config file, which is right here. What I always do is I right click, drag that right here, and make sure it's at 777, which means all of them are checked. Now, that's all well and good. We're going to minimize that, but it was already good at the time. But um, we need to go back once this is done. So here it is. Change the current WP underscore to something different. You can use letters and numbers. Keep the underscore. I'm just going to do some random stuff here. I don't want that. Just some random gobbledygook. Eventually you want to write that down so you know. Uh, but start renaming. If it's good, all tables have been updated. The WP config file has been updated. That's the key thing. But we're going to go back and we're going to redo the file permissions to 644 just to make sure nobody can mess with that. That means everything is uh, unchecked in those four boxes. Write is OK, but execute not good. We don't want that checked. Very, very simple. There's other great tools to spend some time learning this. Uh, more videos to come. I don't have a .ht access file, but that's another great way to increase your security. There's a scanner, a password tool, some options, some support. It's very, very nice. You can check your strength of your password. The plugin is called WP security scan check it out and use it it's just that simple <laughs>